This is officially my favorite arc of Hugh Grant's career. Let's talk about it. Heretic is in cinemas as of November 1st. Two young Mormon missionaries are forced to prove their faith when they knock on the wrong door and are greeted by a diabolical Mr. Reed becoming ensnared in his deadly game of cat and mouse. Hugh Grant is the best part of this film. Hugh Grant carries this film on his back, a stellar performance. And this film uses the tried and tested method of horror science of taking something that we associate with being unassuming or safe space and making that the horror. Whether that be a child's toy with Chucky and Megan and Annabelle or your dreams like Freddy Krueger or young children like The Shining or a thousand other movies or in this case, Hugh Grant. I'm quite enjoying this recent villain chapter of his career. I've seen him in Paddington 2, Dungeons and Dragons, The Gentleman, this, and I haven't seen him miss once. But the movie, there are a lot of individual aspects that I really enjoyed, but I didn't love the film itself. Aside from Hugh Grant, the story is very clever in its execution. The dialogue is good. Questions that they pose to the protagonist and by proxy, the audience. What is religion and its purpose? What is faith? Is it based on rationality? Is there a line where faith becomes stupidity to the point where it felt like I was almost watching some anti-religion doctrine and it definitely will offend some people but I think the movie does a good job of balancing both arguments and doesn't try to steer you in either direction but leaves you to come to your own conclusion and it's billed as a horror but it's not scary at all tense yes because of the precarious situation they find themselves in but not scary and the tension is held throughout but it hinges on the hook the hook is what does he want what is the villain's master the plan we're waiting on the whole movie to find out and when the plan and motivation is fully revealed it's like mm, i guess i wanted more from it i still had questions underdeveloped so in general the ending didn't deliver on the promise that the build-up made while it was engaging something that may put people off is that there is a lot of dialogue and monologues i swear to you the first hour is just a conversation about beliefs also, how much you enjoy the film also hinges on how well versed you are in the subject matter. So some moments that are supposed to be like bombs and be like, oh my God, is that true? For others is be like, oh, I knew this already. So while I enjoy it, I wouldn't say this is a must watch or even a cinema watch for that matter, but I think it warrants your attention, even if just to see Hugh Grant do his thing. I'm your boy, Miles. Thank you for watching as always. Peace, love, and follow Agents of Screen for more movie content.